control, and Randy Ulmer gives a whole new angle on shooting up and downhill. Now, let's head straight to Kodiak Island with Dwight and Larry D. Jones. Kodiak Island, Alaska is known as the Mecca for Sitka blacktail deer hunters. On November 10th, during the peak of the Sitka deer rut, bow hunter staffers Dwight Chu and Larry D. Jones meet their friends Jeff Tusing and Lance Kronberger for a week of deer hunting on the island. From the town of Kodiak, they fly southwest by float plane to a secluded bay where they meet licensed transporter Stan Duncan. Because the weather on Kodiak Island is unpredictable and often brutal, the hunters will eat and sleep in relative comfort on Stan's 40-foot fishing boat, and then will go ashore each day to hunt on their own. After long days of travel, the hunters eagerly prepare their gear and go ashore to look for deer. Climbing a steep ridge, they find plentiful deer tracks in the fresh snow. And as they split up to broaden their search, Dwight creates some instant action on a brushy bench. The buck obviously smells Dwight and fades into the brush. Meanwhile, Lance tries calling in a different location, and he too gets a quick response. Unfortunately, the buck never walks into the open, and Lance has no clear shot. Let's do something different. Good luck, you guys. Okay. During the next four days, Stan uses his skiff to drop the hunters off at various access points along the shore, and then they hike above timberline to search for bucks. There are deer up here, though. Look at that. That's quite a rope on the side of a mountain. While Dwight admires the deer sign and gets a good workout, Lance happily stalks and bags a meat buck. He will save his second tag in hopes of collecting some trophy antlers. As a change of pace and hopefully a change in fortune, Dwight decides to switch from stalking the highlands to tree stand hunting in the lowlands near the water's edge. After scouting the cottonwood bottoms along the creek, Dwight puts up his summit tree stand near a point where several deer trails converge. In the open woods, he feels the shooting lanes are adequate, so he simply climbs into his stand and begins calling. Hey, Dwight, maybe you'd better take time to clear those shooting lanes next time. The following morning in the same stand, his rattling and calling again earn a quick response. Hey, Dwight, nice branch you just shot. You gonna tag and eat it? Now, about those shooting lanes. Well, maybe you'd better just give Larry a chance in your stand.
Now that's how to get a clean shot at a buck. Yeah, all right. And enjoy the tasty rewards. Oh. Nice deer. Oh boy. My first sick to blacktail. Not a monster, but I'm happy. Gotta get my tag on him and drag him out here. Ah. Fortunately for Dwight, he finally learns his lesson and the last night he redeems himself. He and his family will be eating venison instead of tree limbs after all. I better go get Larry and get some help getting this guy out of here. We're going to be late tonight. Well, here he is, Larry. I'm glad I found you, too, because I'm going to need to do some work here. What do you think? Oh, that is a dandy, man. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> last minute buck, huh? Well, I had about five minutes of daylight left. Really? Of our last day. <laughs> I think we're going to be up late on our last night. I didn't. Of and course, I didn't take you know, last man. I got mine this morning. Right, yeah, right. <laughs> well, but I didn't get a good one like that. Man, that is a beautiful buck. beautiful buck. For Sitka Blacktail, that's, that's obviously a full young buck. Yeah. I'm very proud of him, but we better get to work on him, get him out of here. Yeah. So this kid, our eyes, I've already got my stand down out of the tree. I did. Yeah. As they head back to civilization, these bow hunters know that bucks and boats form a winning combination. Dwight, I didn't even know there were trees on Kodiak Island. Those cottonwoods look like they could have been in Colorado. Well, on the west side of the island, there are some fairly large trees. And fortunately, I had a couple of summit tree stands shipped up at the last minute. Without those tree stands, I'm not sure that Larry and I would have even got those bucks. Essentially, we ended up hunting them like what we would whitetails. We scouted for rub trees and trails, and we rattled antlers just as we would if we were hunting the Midwest. And as you can see, it worked very well on the Sitka Blacktails. Now let's learn more about the beginnings of the compound bow with M.R. James. Rich traditions with M.R. James. In 1971,